Okay, this is going to be some a new series or something like that where, you know, it's just everything going to be off a dome, basically. Not literally rants, but something like that. And today we're just going to do a basically off the dome thoughts about the new Daredevil Born Again news and all that, you know. And basically, basically breaking down, like, you know, bringing back Elton Henson and Deborah Ann Wool as Karen and Foggy, which is, I believe is so fantastic. I really love hearing that. And also bringing back my favorite, my favorite part of the news really is bringing back Wilson Bethel's bullseye, which is absolutely, I, I love that so much. It's really exciting. Honestly, that's the most excited I ever, I ever was. Cause I mean, you don't really, what's it called? Cause these are just rumors, right? But I mean, it was coming from like, from legit like sources from Twitter. I mean, I don't know. Can you trust Twitter? Right. The, the sources are kind of like, eh, if you then you don't trust it all the way, but if it's true, then I am really excited, really, truly am. Because, I mean, first off, I love to see Karen and Foggy and Matt all together. And it's going to make this series feel really coherent. And I wonder how they're going to really explore this whole relationship. Because, you know, there's, like, how are they going to fit this in and weave this in into how it fits with the MCU? Because I never believed that the Netflix show really fit with the MCU. Or the Netflix projects in general. So even though they said it was... Netflix, like the Netflix shows fit into the MCU. I just never bought it. But since they're saying that that's the case now, I think they rewrote a ton of stuff to make that seem like the case. So I wonder what they're going to do to make that happen. And like, were Karen and Foggy a part of that blip? And did, how is Matt doing the entire time? Because it seemed like Matt was a part of, he was the part of the people who survived and didn't get blipped. So it's a very interesting thing for them. And I do wonder how, like, how they supposed to explain all of this madness going on with Kingpin and how the hell he's out and how the hell Matt is dealing with that as well. Cause I mean, I don't know if they ever mentioned it in his appearances, which are like three appearances, They're just cameos at this point, but they never really mentioned how he actually felt about Kingpin coming out. And it seems like he's going to be running for mayor. I didn't really finish echo, but I know that's the case. So that it should be very intriguing, honestly. And then speaking of, it's going to be bullseye roaming around now, which Bringing back Bullseye is so exciting. Like, I love Bullseye. I loved his Bullseye. I love Wilson Bethel's Bullseye. And the fact that they're bringing him back is amazing. I hope they bring him back with the suit, though. It's not going to really... I mean, it's not going to be the biggest factor in the world, but I do want him to see in the suit. I, as long as Wilson Bethel's coming back, I'm fine. But, I mean, bring him, bring him back with a suit, like a comic-accurate suit, because everyone else is getting one. Why not? Like, don't discriminate. Give him one, too, you know? I mean, I hope Punisher bring comes with his... um with his skull vest and all that. That's awesome. And I hope Daredevil gets his like double D's, you know, not, not double D cups, like boob or shit, but I mean, double D's, you know, like, like he has his double D's on his chest. That's pretty cool. And I hope that happens. Cause I mean, I don't know. It just feels like since we're going in the more comic accurate route, it's just kind of feels outdated for Daredevil to keep having his own, to keep having that old costume, you know? And Fisk is even get Fisk even gets his own costume. Like he gets his white suit, and I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, <laughs> okay. That means you better have a better get an upgrade too. And I hope that Bullseye gets his upgrade as well. And I hope he's very like particular about his stuff because I mean he's very he's a perfectionist basically. So he's so like precision. He's very precision. There's a lot of precision with him. So I'm hoping that's the case for Bullseye. And my main thing is that. Like, I wonder how all of these characters are going to fit into one season of TV. Because so far, we have Daredevil, Kingpin, Bullseye, Punisher, and apparently a new villain, a rumored villain, quote unquote, is called Muse. I've heard a little little bits and things about him. I'm not really entirely, I'm not, a, I'm not an aficionado about him. Like, I don't know much, but I know he, like, kills people and uses their blood as art. And that's pretty cool. And that actually kind of fits Daredevil's vibe. But I wonder how they're going to make that work with weaving all these other characters back, you know? And I wonder how they're going to make that work with, um, like, how the hell are they going to fit all that into 13 episodes? Apparently, that's the new thing. They're going to make it into 13 episodes. So it's going to be, like, super duper, you know, concise to a degree. But I'm not sure how that's going to entirely work yet, you know? But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. They're filming it now. So it's going to be very intriguing, honestly. I'm really excited. You can tell by the how fast I'm talking right now, honestly. And I, it's not going to make a lot of sense. This is going to be a lot of rambling. I'm not going to edit most of this because on, honestly, this is that's the whole point of this series. You're just unrambling. You're just rambling for like five minutes. So 
yeah, I mean, I hope you all enjoy this, I guess. You know, I'm just talking really fast and I'm like, oh my god, what all? No. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed it. I'm really excited for Daredevil Born Again. Cautiously optimistic too, because God knows what happens in the MCU, man. But I'm excited. And I'm for the first time in a while, I'm actually really excited for the MCU.